So today I'm going to show you this game called Go Fish. That's part of our music centers. Um, before the game begins, you're going to need to draw five cards from the pile. So I'm going to draw mine. One, two, three, four, uh, five. Alright, so here are my five cards. I'm going to look first to see if I have any pairs. This, I know that on my line is every E, so I'm going to see, do I have an E? Yes, I'm going to pair those cards together and put them to the side. Then what I'm left with is F, A in the space, right? I'm thinking face in the space, F, A. I don't have the letter A. I look over here and I know that the first line is E, so right underneath it in the bottom empty space is D. So I have a pair right here. So I'm going to set that aside. Now we're ready to begin. You're going to decide who goes first by rolling the dice. The person who rolls the dice and has the biggest number is the one who will start the game. So if I'm player one and I roll, and I've rolled a three, I'm going to move three. One, two, three. This tells me that I can move ahead one. So I'm gonna do that. At that point, my I've landed on a note, a square with a note, and so my partner is going to give me one of their cards. Now keep in mind, they don't know what, you, what cards you have, so you might get a pair, you might not. If the, a player runs out of cards anytime, you can just pick from the pile. So let's say you've had to give up your cards every single time to your partner then you run out. Just pick new cards from pick a new card from the pile and keep going from there. So then player 2 rolls. And player 2 rolls a 2 and lands on the one that says go fish. Player 2 will pick a card from the pile and see if it's going to match the one they have. In my case, I don't have the letter name that matches. So I just keep going. And you continue this way, um, going around and around the board as many times as you can, or as many times as you have to, until you have no cards left in the pile. So what that means is you're gonna try to make as many pairs as you can. Once the cards are all gone, the person with the most pairs is the winner. You can check um, the pairs with the answer key, so I'll show you. We aren't using the base clef, so don't worry about that section. Um, so again, just to recap, player who goes first is the one that rolls the dice and has the highest number. If you land on a go fish card, you take from the pile of cards um, and see if you have a pair and set that pair aside. If you land on a note name square, right here, your partner has to give you one of their cards. It may or may not make a pair. Once all of the cards are gone, the person who has the most uh, pairs is the winner. You might have to check the answer key because you wanna make sure that you've matched them correctly. And so that's the name of the game. Hope you guys have fun.